Jalon Brooks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Pat Jones Show. Saturday, that same story again. Pat, Nebraska. Boy, I tell you, it's a tough, tough place to play. Being down on the sidelines with you, I really had forgotten some what how tough it is to play in, in Memorial Stadium. I think it's the toughest place that I've ever been into. I know in this league of places we've been, uh, and, and they've kind of enhanced it, John, since they've added those two big <laughs> screens on either end that now you can replay all the events of, and it tends to get the crowd even more involved in it. Uh, and and that's, that, it's a great crowd. I mean, they're not abusive to you. They, they, they like their corn huskers, and it's exactly. And they know their football. And they know their football yeah, pretty good. And so, no, it, it's a tough place to play. Uh, uh, Nebraska did some nice things. In all honesty, not to sugarcoat it all because we didn't win the ball game, certainly, but we got a few things accomplished, maybe a few more than, than I might have thought. Uh, obviously, we had some injuries that we'll speak of here a little bit later. And, um, uh, but we didn't win the ball game, and we got a lot of things that we got to get better at. Well, we're going to look at the first half, and there were some nice things from the first half and some other spots along the way. And we'll get started on the Pat Jones Show right after these initial messages. I haven't seen too many of those weather days like it was Saturday. It was a nice day in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I told my friends on the ground crew who were all there to greet me <laughs> that this is about to, I think it's the only first time I've seen the sun shine <laughs> right. up there at all. It tried to get a little bit cloudy once, but no, it was. It was an awfully nice day. Weather-wise, the wind was a factor. Yes, it, it was. It was blowing from our back as we're running out here onto the field, and we won the toss and elected to defer. Again, kicking off downwind, we kicked the ball out of the end zone. Uh, it did not affect the punting game maybe on either squad as much as you might have thought. Up there a couple of years ago, we did have some problems, had a lot of problems with it. Here they, they run a sweep and get us outflanked and make some yardage. This this first drive, they kind of uh, take it and in, in, they really, other than an option later on, they didn't make a lot of long gains throughout the course of the afternoon. They just, and I think right so Phillips is, is obviously a quality back. Nice play, uh, Eric Cobbs right here. And with those big old offensive linemen and, and feature the things that they do best, uh, which is this kind of stuff right here, counterplay. Uh, he got outside of us and, and got us outflanked. I thought early on we were a little bit antsy as far as some of our things. That, that Nice play right here, uh, James Elliott, wrap him up. Uh, once we got into the flow defensively, we thought we played better. I thought we, we basically fought and scratched pretty hard throughout. And there's, again, some things that we try to run the trap inside and don't make anything. We missed some crucial tackles and, and come within a hair of, of, of making a few plays, but I, I can't really fault us a great deal. And I don't think anybody really ever got their sword broken. I was a little bit afraid of that after the ball game. You can see we got a corner blitz on. They run the option. We did not really defend the perimeter. Look at this right here. Now, we, if, 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 we, <laughs> Phillips probably should have had a crack at it and could have gotten the ball up. Here's a replay up. We really did not defend this properly. We bit on the quarterback and really were not supposed to, and he pitched it wild. Phillips mishandled it. I thought right there he was going to fall on it, and then it, it gets away from him. It, now, at this point, I thought one of our guys, of course, it was a muff, and you can't pick up a muff and run with it. Yeah, that's right. It would have been, a, it been our right. ball anyway. But if it was a fumble, you can pick it up and run with that. would have been called a muff. First play, we go deep to Denson, and a nice throw, nice catch to Rafael. We've got the win at our back, and we thought that if we could protect against him and that we had a chance to hit a few big plays in the throwing game. And like we had talked from the outset, it's really not our style of play to go throw it every down. We're just not that good at it with our protection, with our throwing game. But we've got to be able to hit a few big plays. We hit one right there. Now we have first down and 10 inside their 15-yard line. The noise here is very, very loud. Well, already. oh, yeah, it, it is. And, and we, we checked to the slant. Their kid made a nice play uh, to Chris Lofton. And I, it maybe could have been caught, but I, I give them some credit there. David Thompson on the draw almost came out of it. Now we're inside the 10 on third down, tried to run a sprint pass, actually had the play, got more pressure. They lined up in something that was a little bit different, got more pressure from the outside than we could handle. Had to throw the ball quickly, threw it in, the, and it didn't make a good throw. Lawson Vaughn comes in and kicks it. It's Oklahoma State three and Nebraska nothing. And, and the thing that, that, which up there, particularly with somebody like that, they helped us in that first drive, which you've got to have some help. We're not, we're not good enough or old enough to, to go and just play them toe to toe without somebody making, giving us a little bit of help. Tried to run the fullback and, and make a little bit of yards here. The thing that we were able to do, I thought most of the afternoon, is yes, they made some yard on, yards on us, and yes, they ran the ball better than you would like. Nice play right there by, by James Elliott, or, or 
uh, Elliot, I think, but uh, it was coming in reasonably small chunks here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to their credit, they did not get impatient and they just kept on banging away and, 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 and playing all three backs and, and again behind that big strong offensive front. Which you can do when you've got that kind of talent. Well, you, right. and uh, rightfully so, had they yeah. tried to get real cute with their quarterback problems and uh, it probably would have played in our hands. Okay, he throws it out here. We, we've got this thing defended here pretty pretty well. I think uh, Jeroy Johnson, number four, and, and uh, uh, the other corner, Johnny Jones, really played well. That, that, I think we're, a, we're probably better today. I was really pleased with the way our entire secondary played. G2 Criddle, number 26, and we'll see him make some plays later on. Link Harden hit him and caused that fumble. We've got the ball now on their side of the field. I thought this was a pretty big swing. We, we could not make anything happen here. We this had, was a big play Yeah, right yeah it was. We had play action there and actually had a guy coming open and, and couldn't protect against him. Now run a draw and David makes a few yards, but but not much. Come and run plaques again and we just got overwhelmed at one of the guard positions and, and we could not sustain pass protection against those guys at all, even trying to throw the ball on, on early downs. If, 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 again, you could have gotten down there and gotten something done, you might have gotten them a little bit rattled, although I, I really doubt it. Punt coverage unit did a nice job throughout most of the afternoon. Dwayne Watts made some nice plays. All right, this is the biggest play they made throughout the course of the afternoon. We did not, our option responsibilities, we, we didn't do a real good job of, or didn't do a good job at all on the perimeter. They get the ball kicked, and with somebody this dangerous, they're going to make big plays. Uh, nice job, Tyler Williams. We almost had that intercepted. It looked like the Behringer was trying to kind of throw that ball away and, and didn't completely get it out of bounds. It looked like that Johnny Jones might have a chance to to do something. Good job, Tyler Williams. Good job, Lorenzo Green. Nice pressure. Almost had the thing intercepted by, by Johnny Jones. You know, even after Phillips' 45-yard run, then you come back here on that play and then this play here, and you, you kind of regrouped and recovered defense. Well, we did. I, I, uh, what you're afraid of up there, obviously, when they can hit a big plate, things tend to snowball on sure. you. But we did not let that happen. We got them stopped around midfield. Now, we're not going to have very good field position, but watch what happens here. They punt the ball, and, and we're going to get it. Backed up down in here, run some play action, first down, get the tight end, open down the middle. Derrick Jones, nice throw and catching, and good determined run by him. And we're and so we've hit a first down in here. I thought we did a good job and went in thinking if we can hit, we've got to be able to throw the ball. Uh, if, if we can keep them off balance, doing some things with the early downs, uh, well executed in all phases here. And, and so we've gotten ourselves a little bit of breathing room. We've got to be able to, we got Andre Richardson in there, we've got to be able to run the ball yeah. some. Again, for us, we've got to be able to mix and match. Sprint pass, could not get the end, knocked down. Had what we wanted to out there, and he just had, he got the guy in Tony's face and had to, he had to throw it. And Now, we, the guard actually knocks the ball out of his hands on this, and we got lucky. We had, we had that, and we had a mishandled exchange later on. Again, of course, we're punting down when uh, their return guys are so, so dangerous. They almost come out of this right here, and then, we do make a play, and, and there's Cleavon Williams, Dwayne Watson company. Uh, nice job, Norman Williams, right there, 99 given special. We defended this option game. Well, Demetrius Crowder, 47, I thought probably played his best ball game. Now they get the counter play. There's, there's, we've got a little bit of pressure out there. Lewis Adams and company making some yards, but we're giving, we're giving up yards fairly grudgingly in here. Okay, there's Phillips just, just trying to bang away at us, and we've got quite a few guys a, around the ball. Okay, here, here he comes back out. They do a pretty nice little job on letting him throw some things into the wind that, that speaking of Behringer, that, were, that didn't put a whole lot of pressure on him throwing it. Hit a cutback crease right in there and, and miss a tackle. If they can do this to you enough times, we got a guy hooked out here. One of our ends got inside mm -hmm. the wrong side of a block. Had to be looking at it when it happened. And, and they, they ran the option, made a few plays. Ran a little bootleg here on the goal line and threw it back here. Boy, that's a nice job of, of Johnny Jones getting over there and knocking him out of bounds on the one. Yeah. Run Phillips up in here. And, and we hit him and he, he, he worms his way into the end zone. They missed the extra point right here. I was looking off someplace else and all honesty didn't even see this. Looked I think up, he pushed it wide right. Well, yeah. uh, uh, looked up the scoreboard and I thought scoreboard yeah. malfunctioned or something, but I said, I asked somebody that he missed the extra point and they said yes. And okay, so it's six to three in Nebraska. We run the little bootleg, hit Derrick Jones out in the flat, make a nice play. Okay, run Andre Richardson in there and, and don't make much. I thought Andre uh, really and David Thompson too, four as little running room as we had. Okay, shuffle pass as a shuffle here. We end up getting a couple plays out of this later yeah, on. got a first down. Okay, right. now to run the trap, uh, Jeff Gurnier. Uh, he and Jefferson, again, played fairly well. Here's a lead draw to Andre. Uh, again, this is pretty impressive stuff in, in small ways as far as spinning off people like this and doing some things. Nice job, Tony. Nice job, Dwayne Watts. So we're moving the ball into the wind. Now we're at midfield. I thought this was pretty well executed. Nice job of Dwayne getting the ball down and 
protecting it, and getting it tucked away, and running with it. So we're, we're again, we're moving it out across midfield. Okay, come on, here's Andre Richardson again. Nice run on Andre's part. Oh, and he tripped right over Joe Jefferson down. It looks now, like he might have gotten some more yards. Well, you could, yeah, he probably could have. Now here's, the okay, umpire gets in the way right here. This is the thing where we had been able to do, uh, Tony got a little bit banged up, he's okay, but uh, as far as scramble and make a first down, do they stuff us at the point of attack and we don't make any yards right there? Hard on Tony to, in any of the, uh, to do the, any of that kind of stuff as far as scrambling and making first downs, particularly as much pressure as they put on us. Okay, good job of kicking the ball down 15 yards. line. another good job Saturday. You betcha. Okay, now they hit a crack in here in, uh, when we had them backed up. So there you see they're playing different tailbacks. Run the option play. He, we miss a tackle right in there, and Berenger jumps up inside. Obviously, he is not the threat to break a big play as, as Tommy Frazier and some of those people. Kevin Williams right here. We alternated he and 26, G2 Criddle. We thought both of them uh, did some pretty good things. They're both young guys, and that sure helps in the, in the safety position, not having Trent Fisher again. They get in the shotgun, try to run this little wide receiver screen, and we almost understand. We have that ball in our hands right there. we're going to see this one again. Link Harden jumps the thing. They head it out there, and Link covers the guy they're trying to throw it to, and Johnny breaks inside. These things right here, small things, we make two good breaks, but if you, I think if you're going to pull off something like this on the road, you got to do that, and you also got to block that punt. We actually came within a hair. We got the guy turned loose on that punt block, and it's just two it, plays yeah, right there, Pat. It, yes. I mean, you nearly have the interception, nearly have the block punt right, right there. Right, and, and, and now we come back and break out the trap, and we, so we're moving it around midfield. Sprint pass, Tony Jones throws it in, and not, not very much, but, but nice catch. And now we get a holding call on, on one of the backs. Uh, we had a couple of these, and, and, and which, which were crucial. That was a crucial call in this ballgame. Come back and run the draw play and make a little bit outside with David Thompson. Okay, now here's the shuffle pass to Thompson again. Watch this, we almost get away from here. They've got good team speed defensively. Yeah. They, I think that's where they, and they did a year ago, I think that's where they're different than they have been maybe in some other years because they can certainly really, really run around defensively. Okay, now late in the half, okay, the ball hits him, they spot here. They make a play, right, see we miss a tackle right mm -hmm. there uh -huh. and, and, and one of our, uh, one of another ends gets hooked and they, they get a little bit of breathing room and when they're able to maneuver out here and pick up that first down. Uh, okay, hit a little uh, quick one across the middle. They're going down, win 33 seconds, they have six to three. Okay, they run this little option shuffle deal, which is, is well conceived. Make some guards here, so now, now you gotta sweat it, them doing something and hitting the pass way down in there. Had them covered nicely here with the corners and the safeties. Uh, overthrow the corner route. Now they come in and this kid kicks a long field goal, downwind to make it nine to three at halftime. So and we've played pretty well and, and, and really can't complain about a lot. Well, we're going to look at the uh, second half when we return. Oklahoma State and Nebraska. We're back in just a moment. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. We look at the second half of Nebraska and Oklahoma State and the score at halftime. The Huskers leading 9-3 to and you're going to get the ball first. Our decision, we take the ball and you know, we're moving into a pretty good win. I thought the win had picked up in the second half. This is where it, it gets tough. We've got to be able to do some things and just knock out some first downs. Now, see, we threw that ball just a little bit behind him. Uh, that one, if we had caught it, here's another. Well, you moved the chains. Sure, nothing sure. Nothing else on the sure. very first possession. Uh, we, we've got a chance to, to make a pretty big play. They get a little bit of a punt return in here, which is scary. As, as many times when you let them play with the ball down on your end of the field, it's not good odds against these people. And, and if you let them do it enough times, they're going to make some things happen. Boy, we make a nice, got a couple of guys, make a nice play right in here. Jeroy Johnson hems him up, and, and Lewis Adams knocks him out of bounds. Looked like they were going to big, get a big play out of the reverse and get five yards. We fire a corner, and, and we could not just get quite underneath that, and, and they hit a little bit of a crack. Okay, here's Benning right here, and uh, I believe that's him, and, and makes a little bit. Now they run a little bit of play action, and we've almost got him sacked and get the ball a bounce, a batted up in there. Now they come in and miss this field goal, so we've kind of weathered a little bit mm -hmm. of a storm there. In fact, if, again, I come back, if we could have gotten that ball thrown and caught on the other third down play, might have had a chance to get some things. All right, they hold on to Lofton right here. And the guy made a good call, and, and they play a lot of man coverage and are pretty aggressive with their fronts, and, and some of that's going to happen. Okay, now we, I thought we missed a little bit of a cut right there with David Thompson and don't make anything. They've got, they're going to have some kind of game going on inside most every time with some loops and crosses and some of this stuff. And, 
Uh, that, that's not easy to block at best. We run the trap and don't get a whole lot. Okay, I th is this the call where yes. we get, yeah? This is a big, this, big yeah, play is. Right We here. punt this ball and get off a nice kick. Our coverage units do a good job. We're gonna get them down inside the, around the 20 yard line. Now we get called for a holding back here on, on, on little Baron Miles at 14. Now we come back in and, and punt again and, and do get off a of not quite as good a kick. They get a, they get a return now. They block us in the back down in here and, and get it called, but still there was a pretty 20 good yards. yeah, a, a, yeah. A 20 yard difference in we ran a stunt, a little bit of a blitz right there, and they caught us, but, but good job, men. And now they've got, you know, we, we had seen somebody had said that, uh, that they had carried Behringer in at the half and, and looked out there, he put a little old number 11 in who, who you, know, you don't even know who, what his name is. And, and, and the guy did, he did execute things pretty well. Uh, Matt Terman is the kid's name, a walk on who never figured to play. Well, he, he okay, we missed some tackles right here, and, and they break a trap to get down in here, run the tail back again, he scores, but this is where, I thought they just kind of made an inside run drill out of it, and, and, and we got a little bit ragged. He scrambles around and throws this ball here. That's so they, a two-point conversion. Two point, now, 17 to three, they they get it back out around midfield. We can't do anything with it. Run the counter play, James Elliott, Lewis Adams. Uh, you get the kind of the impression that we ran a blitz right in there and just missed. They, the, they throw it down the sideline. You really kind of worried a little bit the dam's fixing to break in here. And, uh, but I will say this to our credit, we did not really wilt. We gave up some yards, but but again, I, this kind of stuff here, Kevin Williams missed a tackle. Come on, Kevin, we got to do better than that. They scored a touchdown. And, okay, now, they, they mishandled the snap here. here. We've got to get a hold of him in and get him down. This kid just kind of flings the ball out, and that's the kicker. That stuff starts happening. You probably think it's not in the cards, but but now it's 25-3, to three and, and, and they have had some things occur. Okay, now is this the kick? Yeah. Okay, this is where Lofton, Chris Lofton, yeah, okay, right there is going to get, boom, you can't really see it. I saw it on the film. This was, was pretty scary here. Anytime. What's that, the status uh, well, right now? Well, and I'm not trying to play doctor and don't really know, but he's got a bruise. I think the way they're saying it is a contusion of the, of the spinal cord. I mean, mm -hmm. he's got a bruise, I guess, a bruise on his spinal cord. He is still in Lincoln as, as of Sunday morning as we're making this show. Uh, we've got a trainer up there with him. He, he, he's got a range of motion and things are there. They're going to go ahead and do some other things as far as some CAT scans and some of these sorts of things. Whether it's career ending or not, don't know. You always run the risk of that occurring. And, 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 and the Nebraska people certainly have done a nice job. He's, he's, he's in the same hospital that Frazier's in. And, mm -hmm. and again, I'm talking through some of this stuff here that we made a couple nice runs on. But uh, hopefully he'll be all right. And at this point in time, you just want him to be well with exactly. the ball playing part of it uh, is really irrelevant. Now we come out. This is where I, it, it's 25 to three, and we've got the ball and have made a few things. Uh, and had the win. And had to win. Yeah, and we quarter. we go ahead and drop the snap there, and, and and which which irritated us. And they run the option and, and fumble the ball and, and get it back. So they, I think, had we if here's another if we don't fumble that snap there, they run the trap and make some yards. We got a chance to get on down there and, and perhaps do something and still make a game out of it. And and we get a little bit ragged in here with some of our tackling. They drive the ball on down the field and, and score, but uh, here, here they run the option. We don't get any perimeter support and bite on it a little bit. And, That's and, Childs there, third team. Yeah, the yeah, yeah Childs is a pretty good player, yeah. too. They've got, which they normally do, have got several pretty pretty deep in tailbacks. 32 to 3, there's the final here. And, and again, uh, uh, I thought they did a nice job of just banging away at us. I think for us to win a ball game like that, like we talked about in the first half, sure. when you get your hands on an interception, you got to do it. When you got a chance to, to block a kick, you got to do it. When you got a chance to make a tackle, you do. You got to play flawless. And, and, and again, we in that third quarter got into the win, couldn't do anything, and they just banged it out. You lose the ball game. All right, we're back with our feature, a gentleman known as the Dean of Deans. And we'll hear that story when we return. You know, sometimes retirement really isn't what it appears to be, and Tom Dorado explains in this week's feature. Dr. Robert Sandmeyer, Dean of the College of Business Administration since 1977, retired last month. He plans to help coordinate efforts toward establishing a college of business in the United Arab Emirates. He says students now are not much different than those he first met after joining the OSU faculty back in 1962 they're still pretty much the same as they were 20, 20 uh, 30 years ago. Uh, really, really good kids and uh, uh, very, very uh, 
nice to work with. They're, they're really great kids. Good, come from good family backgrounds. They're really nice kids to work with. The, the typical student coming through here uh, is interested in getting an education, uh, interested in going to work. I mean, they're, they're, they're work-oriented when they come. And of course, that benefits us because we're a professional school. Well, I think one of the most impressive people that I've been around my 16 years here at Oklahoma State has been Dr. Robert Sandmeyer, who will be sorely missed around here. Uh, our School of Business has got a great reputation nationally. And, uh, interestingly enough, I, there were there were several of, of the professors that, that have been fairly close to our program. I saw up to Lincoln uh, that, that follow us around. Right. And good guys and, and again, very, very highly regarded educationally. And, and again, Dr. Sandmeyer will certainly be missed. Well, Pat, uh, you come to two weeks now, very important. Missouri and Iowa State, teams that you definitely can compete with talent-wise in the league. Missouri coming up uh, this week. This is one the Cowboys need. Well, it really is. I mean, we, Missouri will be all we, they'll yes. be all we want. I, I promise you that. Looking forward to playing at home. Need a great crowd. Need to have a great week of practice and all those things that you've got to do to get ready to win at home. Well, we'll be back to uh, tell you all about it. And right here on the Pat Jones Show, we'll be talking about Missouri next week. So join us then.